All right, everybody, we got another impromptu unboxing video for you all today. This is Kings of Edom, a new Atari Jaguar game in 2021. So this game was released by Songbird Productions. You can see it here on the box. We got a nice sticker and a nice little marketing cardstock here inside the box that shows a number of things that they work on. They work on Lynx and Jaguar and Jaguar CD stuff. It's pretty cool. But as for the game itself, it comes in a really authentic box. I've never owned a box Jaguar game, so this is my first one. But, I mean, we got cover arts, little screenshot, the logos, like, Pretty cool stuff here. And then just a quick look at the sides. And now let's take a look at the back. So at the top, got some screenshots of the game itself, as well as a description and some key features. Like, I, I like it. I like it a lot. But the box is pretty glossy, so it is a fingerprint magnet, unfortunately. But, I mean, that's kind of a non-issue. Clean that up later. And I'm going to go ahead and just get this open real quick so we could take a look at it. All right, so there is our cartridge. And then we also have a game manual. We're going to look at that here in a second. I want to get right to this cartridge, so we can just pop that out. It's in this little plastic thingy here. And there we go. So this um, cartridge shell, very uh, accurate representation of the cartridges, in my opinion. I'm not the biggest uh, Jaguar fan or collector, so I don't really have a whole lot of these, but... I gotta say, this looks nice. We got, like, the Atari logo back here. We got the curved top. Like, that bar. Like, everything is... Everything is here. Beveled cartridge. And even the logo, or label, it looks really good. Like, it's not overly glossy like a lot of reproduction cards. Like, this looks really good. Unfortunately, it does look like it has some bubbling, so I will need to work that out. But, I don't know. Overall, I'd say this is pretty nice looking. All right, put that down for a second here. All right, let's go ahead and look back in this manual here real quick. So, got the scratch marks on the back. That's cool. Kings of Edom. Game manual. All right. So, this is fully in color. That's really cool. Oh, cool. This has a EEPROM for saving up your games. Table of Contents. Game credits, very cool. Congrats to everybody that worked on this game. It's in people's hands, we're excited. I really love how legit this manual is, though. Like, we got full-color screenshots. Like, they really went into depth explaining how their game is played. The objective of the games. Moving in actions. Controls. Skills that you can acquire in the game. Inventory, shop system, dice rolls, doors and keys, monster types, that's cool. You can see all the various types of monsters throughout the overworld here. And then just a blank page to end it out, but overall, really cool manual. Short to the point and really in-depth, actually. But... I'm going to go ahead and pop this cartridge in and give it a quick test. Alright, so here we go. Kings of Edom for Atari Jaguar. Press fire to start. Alright, so I believe this game uses procedurally generated worlds, so every time you start up a new game, you are going to get a new world. Whoops, forgot to fix my aspect ratio here for the Retro Tink 5X. There you go, that's better. 
have this running through the RetroTINK 5X at 1440p output. I'm using not the best video cables for this at the moment, but they do a good enough job. But you may notice some uh, image ghosting going on on the sides here, especially on the uh, text down there. Okay, so movement. Alright, so we have to gather crowns and then come back here and complete the ritual. We got a shop here, so we could buy keys. And then combat is bump combat type, like older RPGs. Alright, we found ourselves a little dungeon here. 50 pieces of bread. So yeah, this is just a really cool old school type dungeon crawler RPG, like, perfect fit for this system in my mind. But yeah, it's a bump combat system, so it's a little bit different uh, than what I'm typically used to at turn-based and real-time stuff. I never actually played games that use this type of combat system before. I've seen plenty of people play games that did. I believe um, the East games uh, used combat systems similar to this, but I've, again, never played them, so can only go off of what I've observed from other people's playthroughs. But as you can see, life bar and magic bar up in the upper right. We've got an entire text log down here, which really helps keep things uh, visible. And you know what's going on. And I died to a friggin' rat. Awesome. So then we could just start over. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, that was a thing. But inventory, that's really cool. I uh, use the B button to pick things up that you find on the ground and to interact with uh, different objects. I believe the number six key is a map. Yep, there we go. So you do have a map in the game. And then uh, pause brings up your inventory. The select brings up your... Uh, or option brings up your stats and things like that. So, like, this is a really in-depth game when you stop and consider it. But I can also uh, come up here and use, like, a healing spell. So I'm going to select the spell, select it on myself, and that way I can heal. Which is what I needed to do against that rat just a minute ago, but uh, I wasn't paying too much attention because I was just talking. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool game. I think this is a great fit for this system. Well, especially considering that it just gives us something else to play on it. Music and sound are really fun, too. No. <laughs> but yeah, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm glad I decided to check this game out. I saw it going on Twitter for the first batch on a whim and decided to go for it. I know the first batch has sold out, but they do plan on having more to come, so be sure to keep an eye out on uh, Songbird Productions' Twitter page, their website. That way you could uh, pick up a copy of Kings of Edom for yourself. If you are interested, definitely a cool addition to the Jaguar library. And it's just awesome to see new games for the system coming out in 2021, especially considering the system wasn't a big seller back in the day. Definitely uh, can recommend all owners of the Jag to uh, check this one out. But I think that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you all so much for watching this unboxing slash first look impression type video. Really appreciate you all spending even a minute on my channel. Really helps it grow and lets me keep bringing stuff like this, just like this all to all of you. Like, really means a lot to us. So thank you all for supporting us. Thank you all for watching. Um, but I do have a couple of huge favors to ask of you all now. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Lots of content still to come and be happy to have everyone along for the ride. 
Now, for those of you who may be more interested in helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running. That way we can bring more content just like this to all of you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome and we will see you back next video.